Hey, welcome to part 8 of Nick Plays Resident Evil 7 part 8. In the last one we had a short episode, we found a new save area. I did the face mask thing that my my beautiful girlfriend that I love so much, Michelle, helped put on for me. And I, I'm sorry there hasn't been as many episodes. We're still getting, I'm still getting used to doing the face cam thing and that takes a while. Um, so I have, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna burn through Resident Evil 7 as quick as I normally do, and I'm only gonna do face cam probably just for horror ones and maybe special, special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's pretty much. Um, but I did find a new safe area. Um, there was this weird, gloopy, gloppy monster thing that came after me and it reminded me of Resident Evil Zero with the leeches there was leech monsters that were composed of leeches and that's what it reminded me of was that but we ran away from it and we closed the door and then it went away which was which was funny oh, this was good load load screen times are at least they give you information while they're loading while you're loading that takes a while um, Yeah, so that can take a little while. Uh, so here we go, come on. Load. Load screen, load. Loading, loading, loading. Leave and keep on loading. Loading, loading, loading away. Will you ever load? Here we go, finally loaded up. Now this is the new save area. I got a piece of paper. Those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance to escape. To escape you must find the relief shaped like dog heads. Like my ex-wife. I saw one of the heads and... <laughs> I have no ex-wife, I'm just joking. I have no way. Something's wrong with me. It must be that shit they made me eat. If I'm gonna die, I'd at least like to go out fighting. I'm gonna get a hold of that shotgun I saw in the rec room and make them regret what they did to me. I need to get out of here. I love you, Courtney. Love, Travis. Well, Travis is dead. And they made him eat the stuff, and I... I ate the stuff in the game, so... Does that mean I am also doomed? I need... I seriously need to find another... another lock. I've got two of the three dog heads. Let's see. What's behind here? What's behind door number one? I can only close it. There's gotta be something in here, or there was. Maybe I grabbed it already. I hear some kind of like a battery noise in the distance. It's like someone's trying to knock down a door or something. Oh wow, that's all the stuff from the first uh, carrier, so I don't have to... It automatically trans... Wow, this is a magical box. And no, that is not a euphemism. That is literally a magic box. Um, but yeah, it's the stuff in the first box from the old save one, so I don't have to travel as far unless I want to. I fully expect a jump scare. At any point, let's see where we are on the map here. Okay, save. There's stairs to a basement. Yeah, and it, it's, as everybody knows in all horror games, going down is the best option. And no, that is not a, yet another euphemism. Um, but as in, as in many horror games, going down is always the best option to go. Down is safety. And I have never been more sarcastic in my life. Now this it looks exactly like the type of scene you would see a spider in. It would look exactly like this. And I hear something slippery. Something goopy. Is it? Is it this thing right here? At least it doesn't look like a. It looks like an area where you'd see. Spider in. Uh, let's see. Let's 
goopy as all hell. Don't don't have the spiders. It's locked from the other side. That's good. Okay. For, for, I am praying. I am hoping. I am praying. And you guys are probably laughing at me because you know um, that there hopefully there weren't spiders in there in this game. Now, Resident Evil 4 is my favorite because there aren't spiders except for those little small ones that you can shoot. But as far as an actual boss, there are no spiders. Um, and that's why, one of the many reasons why I like Resident Evil, 5, Resident Evil 4 the best. Resident Evil 5, they had those keep a powwow things, and those freaked me out at first. But those don't bother me because they don't look super realistic looking. Yep, I knew it. I called it. I called that shoot. Come on. That's right. King Kong ain't got shit on me. I beat you. I beat it. I beat that sucker. Now give me something. Give me a medal. All right. Since you don't give me a medal, I'm going to teabag you. That's it. Teabag. That's right. I go lip I go lipton on your black ass. And that is not a euphemism. That is literal. He is literally a black, terrible creature thing with claws. He looks like he's been burnt, huh? I love you too, baby. Like horrible bacon. Yeah, like Awful. ever char Awful like, bacon. like charred up bacon. Really charred up, like like a bad, terrible burn victim, like th like Darth Vader. Yeah, kind of like Groot. <laughs> like, see, like yeah. Parts are his eyes. You yeah, see it? yeah, you he see looks it? like yeah. I am Groot. Sorry, guys, my hand was like in Nick's face. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Watch this. Wait, hold out your hand. You can't see. You no, can't <laughs> that's see. my that's my girlfriend's hand. Yeah. Well, no, this is Nick. I just, so wear the, I just wear the nail polish. Just wear the nails just on for one that. Hand. <laughs> but yeah, I kicked his ass. I probably lost a hell of a lot of ammo. I still got 15 rounds. That's not too bad. I didn't take any damage, so that part's good. Huh, another store. Oh shit, there's another one. There's another sucker. I am gonna run out of ammo. Beat you too. You and your br brother. Look, there's Groot too. I beat a second one of those suckers. They kinda look like him, right? I'm not yeah. Sure it's me. You're like evil Groot. Is it? It's evil Groot. If it, if Groot was on PCP and was charred up, this is we. Yeah. Evil Groot. This will be the episode name of this one. Will be evil Groot. Strong chemical fluid. That's a strong one. Can be combined with other items to change the property stronger than normal chem fluid. So I get, I get a bigger, I get a better one with that. Combine. Strong, strong first aid med. You get this strong, completely restores health. Enhanced handgun ammo. Enhanced. Oh shoot, making it powerful. Change ammo. That's awesome. Enhanced handgun ammo. I just made super handgun ammo. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Oh, I'm all out of... Darn. Let's see what I got now. Enhanced handgun ammo. That's awesome. Shotgun shells. Anti-coin. Gunpowder. Okay. Come on, I have to be able to use that as a saw or something. Okay, oh. Oh, shoot. Yep, there's all these tomb things I have to open up. Typical horror movie stuff. This reminds me of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the first season of Buffy. Red handed. Yep. This so reminds me. William, how ironic is that? William the Bloody's gonna come out of here. Typical horror movie stuff. Come on. I better close that up. Something's gonna come out of those things. Bet you. It's behind door number two. 
It's Mr. Dead Man. I've come for you. Okay, what are you, sucker? Come on, tell me the secrets. Tell me what you know. Gunpowder, awesome. All right. They knew I would need more. Am I out of chem fluid? Is that what it is? I think I, no, I got three chem fluid. The hell? Oh, I think I have to have three gunpowder to do it. That must be what it is. Oh, you know what I will do is I'll just... Oh, I have to have three. Okay. Either I'm messing up on something or something else is going on. There's something A over here. I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. Locked him in the leftmost incinerator so he won't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with his girl. Oof. Poor guy. Three A's. Now there's no... There's A in that one. There's A in Laura. There's A in William. There's A in Sean. Okay. So, one, two, three, then four? No. This is gonna be one of those stupid things, isn't it? Open up um, in a certain order. There's A in Travis, it's locked. It's locked. Craig. I have to open up all of them and then that one? There's no one in this one. No, no label. Oh. Tamra. Poor Tamra. Okay. Who are all these people? These were basically... So let's see over here. Where is on the map? Sorry guys. Oh. It's okay, boo. So, let's see. There's a dead end over here. Dead. Get it, dead end. It's funny. What does it say? Work workshop. Locked from the other side. Where's the other side in this sucker? Orange must be locked. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is a new scene, right? Yeah, I haven't been here before. Kidoki. Handgun ammo, awesome. You always use more of that. What was the bumpy bump? Bumpy bump sound came from somewhere. I'm gonna get another jump scare, I know it. Kim fluid, good. I'm okay, Pepe. Yeah, I can, I can, I can feel it. The music's coming. Oh yep, there, there's, the, there's Mister. There's Evil Groot. Like if with Venom. Clever girl. Just like from Jurassic Park. Run, bit, run. Alrighty. Job, yeah, thank you, baby. Headshots do well, huh? Yeah, let me yeah. See if I want to
Sorry guys, I know this is annoying. What happens if you have a family? I wonder if I can combine chem fluid. There we go. I've got seven rounds left. Eventually I'm gonna have to start shanking motherfuckers around here. More green herbs. Got them herbs. First aid mad. I did not mean to drink that. I really did not. Oh well. That was a waste. Oh shoot. Oh, here's the boy. Up, oh, another one. It's another one. Evil Groot number five. Yep. Teabag your ass too. Teabag? Bam! Shabam! It's okay. It's okay, Pepe. No worries. Yeah. Oh shoot! Here's another one. Shoot, there's two of them. There's two of them. I'm just gonna have to shank this one. I should not have taken that Kim fluid so quickly. Killed it, barely. Barely survived that one. Oh no, wait. I barely made that one. I had to shank him so many times. <laughs> I ran out of I ran out of ammo. Oh, that's funny. Oh, son of a there's another one. I can hear him. He's behind here, isn't he? Oh no wait, he's gone. Wait. No, is he? Is that ammo, please? Yeah, shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun yet. You know, I think I think I was supposed to find the shot. Yep, I was supposed to find the shotgun before before I found these guys. I think that's what it is. It's probably what it is. Okay, come on, come on, shank you, shank you with my little pig stick. Did I beat him in one hit? I beat him in one hit. I sh the, you saw that, guys. I shanked him right in the mouth, like, like that, and he died. He died, and I got an achievement for it. Things got personal. Finish off an enemy with a knife. I did that shit. Tea bag. There you go. I beat you, sucker. Now I'm guessing there's something I'm supposed to do with these boilers. And, uh, uh, you know, I do remind people, and it's in the title, is that this is a blind let's play. So some of you will be yelling at the screen. Uh, <laughs> you fool, you're supposed to do it this way. You should have had the shotgun shell, a shotgun, and sh got him with that. But, yep. Yeah. Ooh, strong chemical fluid. That'd be good. Let's see. Combine. Yes, I made ten rounds of the enhanced. Yes. I get to have, get to have my my gun back again. Yay! Not that. Not only that, it's enhanced too. Oh come on! 
need a key. Where is the... Where's the key, guys? Where's the beef? Okay. I don't press any of these buttons now. The key, is it like Resident Evil 4 and 5 where a key is supposed to drop from one of these fuckers? Is that what it is? I have no idea, guys. No idea. <sighs> Huh. There's a blue door, which is the opposite of orange. Because I know my color. I, I don't know if it's the opposite of orange, but... Oh, that means it's open there. There's something in here. Please let there be a key in here. Now, I will try for a while, but if I get really, really stumped, I will have to look for stuff because I don't want you to be waiting here for like 50 minutes. Just me just going around her Let's see. Processing area. Okay. Get the dog's head from the dissection room. Where's the dissection room? What's going on? There's a spider exhibit. Uh huh. Where they're alive, like a butterfly exhibit. Wow. And you walk through it and the spider. Oh dear God! <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, Ma Michelle. Michelle was about. just say saying something about a spider exhibit. There's where an the exhibit that is spiders of different species inside this exhibit that you walk through it, kind of wow. like a butterfly exhibit. Wow. With spiders. That that That's sounds like a nightmare. nightmare. Yeah. Now, my one comfort in being arachnophobic is that it's actually a fairly common fear. Um, so there are people out there that can relate. Some people uh, won't be able to relate to it, but yeah. Like I showed her the black tiger from the original Resident Evil game back on GameCube. I showed her a video of that, and she, Michelle didn't like it either. I got cold shivers playing through that game. I, that's why I've played Resident Evil 4 probably more than any other Resident Evil game. That one and Resident Evil 5. Workshop. Here. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I, I either I need to backtrack or I miss something in the current area that I was in. But I'm just in the in the case of I'll I'll, I'll try to backtrack and see if I can find anything. Because with all those shotgun shells that were sh showing up, I, I I think the game thinks I should have had the shotgun at that point. So this is the save area. Oh, the, with the new update that I got on my on Xbox, I can figure out how many minutes it's been recording for. Yeah, I saw that. Oh shoot, Groot, evil Groot's back! I killed it in one shot. That's right. Now, where do I go from here? I haven't been to this set part yet, so that might be what it is. At least I don't think I've been over here. Uh, 
Nope, I have not been here yet. Or at least not from what I... Yeah, I have. Damn. Music is coming up again. I feel like I'm missing something. There's Rick again from Walking Dead. Rick when he gets old, if he survives the apocalypse, that's enough. Uh, let's see. Scorpion door. I feel like that, that reminds me of the old Resident Evil games where there'd be certain doors like Knight's Door. They, they're... I think the first or second one were based off on pawns from from chess. Like there was a king's pawn and a bishop pawn and all those. There are certain keys. Whoa. Looks like a kid drew it. Oh, vacation has oh. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good, so we'll just get rid of her. Three college girls are all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. Turned in three, turned in three days. He's the thirteenth homeless man. So all these things that I'm coming across is probably the mutated uh, Frankenstein monster, mutated Frankenstein monster things. These again. I just scared the little guy. You scared me too! Because I was expecting you to scare him with the game! Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough or something probably, because I have no idea where to go from here. I'm lost, people. I'm herpy derpy lost. That's the shadow thing that opened up, okay. I'm missing something. What am I missing? My brain. Um. Can't jimmy it open. I'm missing a pick lock. I think that's what I feel like I'm missing because a lot of things around here are for the pick lock. This thing. Do I just stab it? Is that what up? But thing is, you think if I put it upside down, they would all fall out, but no. And I, feel, I got a feeling there's something in here I need, but yeah, I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough, guys. I can't leave looking through this all frustrated. So for the first time, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up stuff, and I'm gonna go back to the save room and save. And I'm gonna look up. Just, just to get to, the, I'm not gonna look up everything, but just the next step of what I'm supposed to do, and look up what antique coins are f are for, and, and what the bobbleheads are for. But that's it. Just those two things. Um, I might. Do I get hurt when I get? It? Uh -huh. It's like there's blood on the screen. That was weird. Alright. What is that thing? It's a save game over here. Antique coins. Record player. I feel like I'm missing something.
gonna look in one more spot. I'm gonna go dead back down here one one last time. I'm gonna look. I I'm gonna look through here one more time and see if I can figure it out. Now there was that one that was locked. That one caught. I think that's what it is. It might be too. There's two theories I have. One is the pick lock situation. I might just need a pick lock. And the other thing, which I might need to backtrack for that, but the other thing I have is that there's those coffins, those mortuary things that you're supposed to open up. And I think if you open up in a certain order, that one will be unlocked. It's like a, it's like a puzzle. So I think that's what it is. Because Travis is, is it's locked. There's the there's the fingerprint one there, the handprint one there. It's three A's and then so let me see. I'll read that note thing again and see if I can figure out the puzzle. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember three A's and a handprint. So three A's might be three A's in the name. That might be what it means. Not three A's, it is um Craig, that's only one A. Williams, that's only one A. Sean, only one. Tamra has three A's. Tamra has three A's. And a handprint. Three A's and a handprint. Yes, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured out the puzzle, baby. I figured it out. That's where I got stuck. Holy shoot. Okay, alright. Big, giant Groot-looking thing got came out. Probably. Well, I killed it in three hits, but I was using the enhanced... Yes, dissection room key. I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Yes. Yes, I didn't have to look it up. I did not have to look it up, so I'm still blind. Still blind, guys. I have not looked anything up. Yeah. No. I, I, for the record, my, my girlfriend just said he, he was with me, so he must be blind. And I, I, I can barely hear through my headphones. My headphones are kind of like canceling. Can't hear everything. Uh, so I, initially I was like, oh, yeah, this being agreeable. And then I realized, no, wait a minute. She's beautiful. And I love her. Um, and this little guy here, he's on the camera. Uh, this little guy uh, is, is watching. Technically, he should not be watching because this is an M-rated game. But he, but he's okay though. That's Nick's buddy. Yeah, he's my buddy. He's his gaming buddy. Yeah. Isn't that scary? It isn't that scary. Not yet. That's because he can't hear the sound. Yeah. A lot of it's the sound. So that's it. The end of this let's play. Um, and let end of this video. The end of this video for part eight. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a longer one. This was 34 minutes. So I finally got the dissection room key. It took me a while to figure it out. I apologize about that. But as I said, this is blind, so some frustration will ensue. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like. And if you like this series and the content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everybody.